Okay, every so often I feel like I do a video on, I don't know, usually it's titled like reality check or be honest with yourself or um, I think one's called whack-a-mole where you're in recovery and you feel like you're not ever coming out like you're winning. You don't ever feel victorious in your day. You feel like you're challenging things, but you still feel like uh, you know you're holding back. You know you're playing games with your eating disorder. So an example of this would be like, let's say you challenge like a really big breakfast and you're super proud of yourself and it's like, yeah, I had that on my list of things to work on in recovery this week and I did it. I just like everything I wanted to eat, I did for breakfast. And you're looking at that one incident, you're feeling proud. But then the day goes on and you don't quite carry out that consistency and that aggressiveness that you had at breakfast throughout the rest of the day because you got your big challenge for the day in, right? And then you kind of ease off or you get scared or you overthink things or you start thinking, oh my gosh, like how do I correct this? How am I gonna, how am I gonna fix this? Or what do I do to, you know, compensate um, for this huge breakfast? And then the day just sort of starts dwindling and starts getting more restrictive and more disordered and you start feeling really crummy and frustrated and think, I don't ever wanna do that again. Like I don't wanna challenge breakfast because the whole day I just felt like I couldn't eat what I wanted, what I usually eat. I felt like making choices was just, it just felt icky. And then when my, when the night came and I was so used to eating all my night foods, um, I kind of just felt like I couldn't because of what I had for breakfast. And it just was like lingering in your head. And so a couple of things to do when you find yourself kind of playing these games of like challenging yourself and then pressing on the brakes and challenging yourself and pressing on the brakes or trying to get creative with ways to feel like you're still in recovery um, but you're not really giving it your all. You're not really, really eating everything you wanted the rest of the day. Um, one thing is, is when you do eat something that's challenging or that kind of put you outside of your comfort zone is to, to finish it and then forget it. Don't let yourself dwell on it. And I know that's easier said than done. You know, it's like, don't think about the pink elephant in the room. And of course that's all you're going to think about. But in this case, I mean, when you have that meal, whatever it is, Let's say you have this huge breakfast with like French toast and waffles and real maple syrup and butter and whipping cream and, and bacon on the side and eggs. And it's just this like delicious breakfast you've always dreamed of and you ate it and you, you enjoyed it, but then you'd haunt yourself with it the rest of the day. You just can't stop thinking about it. I can't believe I had that many pancakes. I should have stopped it for, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have had the bacon. Why didn't I just get turkey bacon and oh, the eggs? Why did I have real yolks, right? And your brain just starts like playing all these games with you because you finally just challenged all these rules all in one meal. When your brain starts going there, you say, stop it, stop it. That meal's done, we're moving on. Blank slate, it's a blank slate. We gotta just keep on going with the day with whatever we want, what's my next challenge? And so you go through an entire day challenging things as aggressively as you did at breakfast with all the snacks in between your you know, breakfast and lunch and then you eat this really aggressive lunch just like you did with breakfast and then all these aggressive snacks in between and then you have this really aggressive dinner. And then you really push yourself at night and you let yourself eat anything and everything you want because everything before is erased. You don't have to think about it anymore. Blank slate. And you do that. You do that. Even just for a day and you experience what that feels like. And I talk about this a lot too. Like do an experiment. Give yourself a day. If you just do that, you're going to get a feel for what recovery really requires. And you're going to feel like you're getting somewhere. You're going to feel like I made progress. I don't let my eating disorder have any say today. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can take control of my recovery and you're going to gain confidence and you're going to gain momentum and you're going to want to do it again. Okay. And when you get scared, what you want to do, this is a tool that I used a lot. When I got scared, typically what was happening is my vision got really small. I just started thinking about my fear of weight gain and how much weight I might gain. And I might feel full for the next, you know, time I eat. And what if I did and all these little things right here, right in front of me in the immediate future. And I had to kind of, zoom out and be like, hold on, big picture here. If I can stay committed now in this moment, I know I can get to full recovery. And if I can get to full recovery, I can be free. So I can kind of zoom out and see like why I'm doing this rather than in the very moment trying to talk myself through or rationalize why I need to stay committed. I have to just keep going through um, the motions or the actions of what's going to get me recovered and then remind myself of why I'm doing it. I want 
to not have to deal with this my whole life. I want to be able to eat what I want, when I want, however much I want. I want to have a really enjoyable, delicious meal and then not still be dwelling on it hours later. Think about, get really, really clear on what it is you want and start focusing on those things rather than obsessing about your body changing or obsessing about how your pants feel tighter or circling over and over and over again what you just ate, okay? Stop those thoughts, not happening anymore. I'm gonna focus on other things that are positive, okay? So I'm, this video is kind of all over the place, but essentially the message is be aggressive and challenging things. Don't just say, you know, I oh, I did this one thing today and then the rest of the day was totally disordered. You're not gonna feel like you're getting anywhere. Recovery takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of mental energy and a ton of discipline, but you can do it, you can do it. And once you've done it, like I said, um, even just for a few days, you're going to you're gonna get that feeling inside that I can't put into words, but you're going to understand it. And a lot of clients explain it to me um, in their own way, but I know what they're talking about. I'm like, you got it. You got that feeling. Good. Hold on to it. Keep going. And once you get that, you'll, you'll have a clearer idea, like I said, of what recovery takes and you'll start feeling hopeful. So go at it. Be aggressive. And I haven't said this in a while. Be bold. All right. Have a good day.